So uh, continue with part two of the ten uh, of the uh, ten wholesome bits on the to uh, abstaining from lying. Uh, so today the exercise very simple. Watch your intent. Now uh, watch your intent before you speak. Uh, yesterday, a couple of you, about three of you, sent me um, messages um, concerning this practice that you have uh, some areas. Uh, but yesterday was quite crazy. <laughs> it was quite a full day. Um, and I didn't want to just give you a one-liner. Huh? So I will um, try to reply to you all today. Oh. And okay. Yeah, so today's exercise is very simple. Watch your intent and then uh, uh, before you speak. Uh, um, if there's one scenario I would like to just touch on is where people ask you for information. Uh, I, I touched on the approach already yesterday, but I just want to um, highlight the scenario where we sometimes feel compelled to lie. Uh, it's when people ask you for information that you're not supposed to share. Yeah? Uh, this oftentimes happens in the company where you, uh, you, are, you have access to some information but it's not meant to be made public yet. Then your colleague comes and show you, hey, 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 I heard you know about the upcoming uh, re-op. Ah. How, how, how? What happened to my department? Ah? <laughs> They're like, then you, how? You're not supposed to disclose it, right? Maybe you are involved with uh, the reorg, so you're not supposed to share it because it may affect morale, it may affect people's decision. And how? Then you say, then you, you, you think maybe you just lie, lie and you just say, oh, oh, is it? Is there a reorg? <laughs> right? Sometimes people do that, right? Or maybe you, you, you think, or maybe I should just tell the truth. Huh? You say, yeah, I'm not supposed to tell you. Huh? Uh, or maybe you tell your colleague, hey, I, hey, I, I tell you, but you keep it a secret. <laughs> that's, how, that's how secrets spread around. Everybody tell each other and say, you keep it a secret. Yeah, That's how secrets get kept and spread around at the same time. Uh, what colleagues would sometimes do is, hey, why can't, why can't you tell me? You know, when you, if you tell the truth and say, I can't tell you, your colleagues will probably say, why can't you tell me? Hey, we come in so long already, no? Huh? Since day one, we come in together. Why can't you tell me? Right? We're good friends, right? <laughs> so this is, let me tell you, uh, this is called emotional blackmailing. Yeah. Okay, this is called emotional blackmailing. How, how many of you have been emotionally blackmailed before? Either by your colleagues, your friends, your family, your husband, your wife, your children, especially children. Now, these children very smart. Right? Emotionally blackmail the parents. Mommy, you don't let me play with the game. You don't love me. <laughs> what kind of rubbish is that? <laughs> Mommy, you take away my handphone. You don't love me. Rubbish. I don't love you. I kept you, then you know. <laughs> so, very simple solution, okay? Listen carefully. Whenever someone tell me, you don't do this, so you don't love me. You don't do this, so you're not my friend. Okay? The reply is very simple. If you're really my friend, you wouldn't be putting me in a spot. See you again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or your, your kid tell you, mommy, you don't love me. You don't give me your time. Then you, you tell your kid, if you, really, if you love mommy, you wouldn't be saying this. <laughs> don't don't go and say, no, mommy really love you. Then you get trapped. You, you, you are already stuck in the emotional blackmail. <laughs> yeah, you must know it's a blackmail. <laughs> Rubbish of these people. Oh, uh, but hard for you to, to see clearly. That's why it's called emotional blackmail. Uh, but you must remember what Sue said. Whenever people say this kind of thing, if you like this, then you will do this. Uh, this is actually a form of emotional blackmail, a manipulation. But having said that, I must also highlight uh, some people do it um, 
without knowing that they are doing the manipulation. Okay, yeah. Sometimes people learn the wrong things and they, they just do it because the last time they did it, they get what they want. So they, didn't, they don't consciously know that they are manipulating you in that sense. But you let them do it a few more times, then they learn it. <laughs> so you must stop it. Oh, uh, Ken, all right? Watch your intent and be clear of yourself. No? Okay? Mm. Have a fantastic Friday. <laughs> oh, start with F. Uh, F uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Go and have, be fantastic to the world. <laughs>